First at six on the run, the intense search for two teenagers who escaped from a juvenile detention facility. They could be dangerous and threats to at least one neighborhood. A third teenager also escaped. He was quickly captured. And tonight, with a lot of unanswered questions about how this all could happen in the first place, the focus remains on getting these teens back into custody. CBS 4's Peter Dench has been speaking with neighbors, and he's live in Kendall with an update. Peter. Well, Rudabay, some neighbors we spoke with are worried about their safety. Others are wondering about security at the Miami Youth Academy. The state and Miami-Dade police are working together. The state's trying to determine just how this happened as they are appealing to neighbors for help. I, I don't drive, so I'm pretty much walking around here. So what if something happens? Neighbors like Melissa Hanley say they are alarmed that three teens escaped from the Miami Youth Academy here at Southwest 108th Avenue, just north of Kendall Drive. If they're delinquent, you are always concerned. Yeah, a little scared. Locks the doors. I have an alarm. State investigators took pictures of this boarded up window and a shoe in the academy's parking lot. The teens may have escaped through a classroom window. We have received information that they are not armed. They have been instructed to us that they can be violent. Where was the security at? I, that's what I asked myself. Are they doing everything possible? 15 year old Jason Posey was captured after neighbors helped officers spot the teens. Posey had been charged with aggravated battery with a deadly weapon and grand theft auto. Investigators are still looking for 14 year old Jonathan Jacobo, who was booked for marijuana possession and trespassing, and 16 year old Gregory Ruiz, who was facing charges for burglary. To please to not confront them, to not engage them in any way, shape, or form, but rather to call 911 immediately. Miami Youth Academy serves boys ages 14 to 18. The website says it's a non secure residential commitment program where teens get treated for substance abuse. A juvenile justice department spokesperson says the department is investigating the incident and contracted provider staff's adherence to policy and procedure. And should a failure be identified, staff will be held fully accountable for their actions. Melissa Henley hopes the two teens will be captured soon. It would make me feel great. Uh -huh. okay. I mean, there's a lot of kids in the area. There's a bunch of schools here, so, you know, they need to be protected. And once apprehended, the teens will face additional charges of escape. Now, remember, if you see them, don't approach them. Call 911. And if you have any information to share about them, call Miami-Dade Police or Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. We're live in Kendall, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.